Ava's Avengers is a nonprofit that supports families with children undergoing medical treatment. Here to inspire people nationwide to find their <laughs> inner hero and join to help the fight uh, are Ava Wright and Andrew Wright with Ava's Avengers. Welcome to you both. Thank you for having Thank us. We're yes, excited to be here. Thanks for coming on the couch. I mean, you brought some fun goodies here as well, but why did you decide to create Ava's Avengers? You know, what led to that and how has it grown over the years? It let. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was a little more present for the journey. She was very young. So when she was four, she had brain surgery. And while we were in the hospital with her, other parents were writing us for help with their kids, trying to understand Chiari malformation and what it meant. And she was worried about just being released from physical therapy to go help the kids in Los Angeles Children's Hospital. So we knew there was something more and it sort of snowballed organically and grew from Ava, myself, and her mother and our friend to almost 200 people across the country that are just dedicated to helping others and giving people hope when they need it. And so for those who may not be aware, what are some of the resources, programs, and support that you provide? So we race, we, we do a lot of it as endurance racing because if you are undergoing these treatments and you have these conditions, life is an endurance race. You, you keep going is the, the key. So we do that as a metaphor in obstacle racing because you, you need to overcome these obstacles. And we raise money for families to pay for services, but we can't always identify the families unless someone comes to us. So we also have outreach programs in Las Vegas and around the country where we go to Ronald McDonald House and bring gift bags and bake for families. We have a youth outreach program that teaches leadership and they, we partner with Spartan, uh, Spartan Race, so the kids get to do free Spartan races. So we, we want to build a, a legion of heroes across the country to be there when people need them the most. Now, how did the recent outreach uh, go with the, re the recent Ava's Avengers Day? Oh, it was it was awesome. It, it was really cool because we were able to fit everything and we did Ronald McDonald House, we did a youth camp, we were able to meet the mayor and we had a little army of Avengers with the mayor and it culminated at Camp Rhino with their youth program and we had a, a huge event over there with Spartan and Camp Rhino and it was just wonderful seeing everyone come together to celebrate. Now what made you decide, there was a, a competition I believe, Camp Rhino, a reception, so what made you decide on both of those as being part of the event? I think we decided with the competition. We were going to do something more formal and have like a dinner and a nice thing, but we were like, that's not really how we are, we're more of, we do activities and we spend time at events and stuff so why not do an, an exercise and build more <coughs> Yeah, we want really people to get out of engaged, their comfort right? zone. Yes, we, we encourage people fun. to dig deep. Yeah, so it wouldn't be us to be stuffy. We want to be out there and sw that's how we earn it through blood, sweat and tears. So we wanted to do that and welcome the community to do that too. Now you guys have two really cool uh, slogans. So one is find your inner hero and join the fight. So what is that all about? Find your inner hero is everyone has a hero inside of them. So we want to try to help everyone else find their inner hero. Mm -hmm. And join the fight mm -hmm. is just you may not physically be able to go and do these things, but you can give your time, you can give your passion, you can give your energy, you can give your resources to help. It may not even be monetary. It might be baking for someone who needs it, cooking a dinner for a family who's in the hospital and bringing it by because they don't have time to cook. But it's giving yourself to others and joining that fight to lift the people who need it when they're at their darkest time. Now, the catalyst for creating this, this program and this initiative was it really came from, you know, personal experience and a personal passion for you guys. But what has been the most rewarding part of seeing this grow from just an idea to where it is now? Because it's, it's organic. There's, there's no backing. It, it's, it's really a guerrilla operation of, of a family and just doing good and others seeing it and saying, you know what, me too, and, and joining that and just seeing, we do these pictures where we have a cartoon version of ourselves and having it be the three of us, us and Carnell Johnson, growing to 200 of them. And it's really cool to see because there's still good in the world and it's easy to get wrapped up that there's not with everything that goes on and all the negativity. So when you see that hope, it really lets you keep going. Yes. Now, how can someone get involved? You know, what are the ways that they can support you all? <laughs> so obviously there's always like just coming on board our website is www.avasavengers.org and there's a million ways to support if you're from afar and you can't do it monetary support helps but 
coming on board, everyone can be an Avenger. It is not elite athletes, it's everyday people. We have teachers, we have people of all walks of life that are like, you know what, I'm gonna make a difference. So stepping up and making a difference with your time and pushing yourself to be better. But then also, if you don't join in your community, pay attention to who needs the help. Look around, be observant, and step up for others. And yes. that's how you can be a hero. You don't need to be an Avenger, you can just be a hero in your own area. Yes, agreed. Well, thank you both so much for joining thank you. us this thank morning. You. This was great. To learn more about the organization, be sure to head to avasavengers.org.